Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1. We're at verses 51 to 55 now. This is like part two of the Song of Mary. Yesterday morning we took the first part. Let's take this part right now. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. So, as we mentioned yesterday morning, Mary has a song. In the first part, you know, she was talking about God's, God's great mercy to the lowly and the great things that God has done for her. But now we look at the second part of the song. He has shown great strength. He has scattered the proud. So here we have the proud, here we have the evil, here we have the mighty on their thrones, the people who think that they run the world, you know, the big guys at the top of the G7. But it says here that God has shown his strength, God has scattered them. And the people who imagine that they run our world today, uh, you know, may they be, maybe may they find their way to the kingdom, may they find their way to the, to the feet of Jesus, certainly, may they be in the kingdom, may they be transformed, repent and learn his way and give themselves to him. Of course, we want that. But there are some who will never repent. There are some who are determined to do it their way. Pharaoh was one example back in the book of Exodus. We hope there won't be too many of those today. But in Revelation 18, we see predictions of that, of the way it'll be at the very end. And we see a lot of those things lining today. What we see here is that the proud, the mighty, the people on their thrones, the rulers, God, when he sends Jesus, Mary puts it as though he is scattering all those thrones. Because, of course, at the end of, of Daniel chapter 2, the vision there shows that God's kingdom fills the whole earth. And we found in this chapter that Jesus will be the king forever. So we serve Jesus. He's our king. Uh, the world is going to be utterly transposed, utterly different, utterly changed. It'll go back to the, the way that God always wanted it to be. Satan is temporarily the prince of this world, but God will prevail. And all the human rulers, uh, all the rich, he has sent away empty. And he remembers his people, his servant Israel. We need to be his servant, his people today, willing to be overcomers through Jesus. And God will help us with that. Why don't we pray together just now? Dear Father in heaven, Help us to be overcomers through Jesus. Help us to be right with you and find the pathway forward that you have for us. Use us in your, in your work in this, in this intense hour. Lord, may you scatter the rich, the mighty, the, the, the people on their thrones who, who think they're the rulers of the universe. They are not. May they find also the pathway to you that we, some of us, have found. Now, Lord, bless us. And may we be your servants, O King, forever and ever, we ask, dear Father, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today. You're part of the kingdom. There's nothing better.